Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from SelfMadeSuccess.com and I'm going to teach you how to establish yourself as an authority figure online and I just wrote a in-depth blog post on this and I wanted to get it to you as my YouTube subscribers and to anyone else that wants to um, learn how to do this and establish themselves as an expert or an authority figure in their industry okay and I actually learned this from Frank Kern and Tim Ferriss if you don't know who they are this is Frank Kern right here he is a expert marketer and consultant and from Tim Ferriss who you can go check out at his website the four hour workweek.com this is him he is a uh, the author of The 4-Hour Work Week, The 4-Hour Body, The 4-Hour Chef, and he's a best-selling author, uh, university speaker, and all these other things. But um, these two guys are expert marketers and experts at branding themselves. And one thing they use to get so many sales is not just selling well, not, not because they're just great salesman but because they pre-frame your mind into seeing them as celebrity figures or authority figures or experts in their industries okay when you see people like that think of uh, LeBron James selling basketball shoes think of Jennifer Aniston selling uh, makeup you know no matter what if they've heard of the makeup or not or if they've heard of the shoes or not people are gonna buy a lot of them because of who's associated with them and because they've seen those celebrities and know that they're good at what they do okay and they posi position themselves at being good at what they do so here are a few ways to establish this whether you are an expert already or not um, you can at least establish yourself to look like one and to position yourself the right way to get you some more sales okay and first thing you can do is get certifications there's a lot of online certifications you can get I actually did a video on I think it was 14 certifications you can get that are uh, pretty low cost that you can get online they're not degrees so don't think of it that way you can get them online and get straight to the point and it teaches you things that um, you can apply right away for instance, you can get one like this. This one is from uh, digitalmarketer.com. Okay, Digital Marketer has just started doing this because they see the power in doing certifications. But you can get these from Google, Bing, Digital Marketer, Hootsuite, and HubSpot, and other of these other ones for internet marketing. And of course, if you're in a different type of niche, you know you you'll need to do your research on some other certifications specific to that but once you get these you get a certificate like that one I showed you like this and you it'll have your name on it it'll have your title that you've earned from doing that and you can post it on your LinkedIn profile you can post it on your um, about me page and things like that and it instantly boosts your credibility and like we said, we're trying to earn that trust, credibility, and um, prove to people that you're an expert, okay? And another thing you can do is get awards. Like, Jeff Bullis does a great job of this. Jeff Bullis, you can find him at jeffbullis.com. But he is a top 10 Forbes social media influencer. He's uh, He has a top 10 top 100 business Twitter account according to the Huffington Post and some other things as well and as you can see in this image he points that out in his Twitter profile and of course his website and other places too to earn that instant trust and to get that instant um, impression that he's an expert whether people have actually heard of him or not and that's what you're trying to do so Another thing you can do is speak at universities, all right? Universities, whether anyone is really there to see you or not, because they've heard of you or not, 
it doesn't really matter, but you can use it as a title. And in fact, I learned this from Tim Ferriss, and this is a picture of Tim Ferriss speaking on stage, but in one of his books, he actually says that he uh, used a technique to get a little bit more credibility so that he could uh, promote his book a little better and get on more talk shows, get on more radio shows and things like that by saying he's spoken at so-and-so university be, university about the topic related to his book and all that stuff, when really all he did was, um, you know, go to that university, find a, I don't remember if he re rented the auditorium or just asked to use it for a short period of time, but he just had a free speaking event. He put out flyers or paid some college kid to put out flyers, and he just did a free event. Whoever showed up is who he was going to speak to. He spoke for a while, and then now he can use that as his title. And that is something that actually goes a long way just by introducing yourself as someone who's spoken at a university. People don't ask what university uh, they don't ask how many times you've spoken. They don't ask how many people were in the audience. They just hear that part and instantly think, oh, he must be smart. He must be an expert. So you can do things like that to boost a little bit of credibility. Another thing you can do is speak on stage and take professional pictures. As you can see Frank Kern on his, um, on his Facebook page, he uh, actually... He actually positions himself very well by using this as his Facebook cover photo where he's speaking in front of a lot of people on stage and it makes him look like an expert. It even says expert in the background on his screen. So it's perfect for creating credibility. And to create this credibility you don't actually have to speak in front of thousands of people because you really have to build up a, a large brand to be able to do that. But you'll see pictures of Frank Kern, Tony Robbins, people like that with those uh, wireless mics on their ear talking in front of people. But what you can do is use a profile picture of, of yourself with the stage in the background with that wireless mic on your ear and talking out like you're talking to an audience. Whether there's actually an audience there or not, you can use that just to pre-frame people to see you as an expert. You don't have to show the people. So imagine if he had this picture, you know, minus the people, he would still look like an expert. So go to a stage at your local school, church, auditorium, event center, whatever, and you can speak on stage, have a professional photographer, or even a family member, if they're pretty good at taking pictures, take different angles of you with this wireless mic on a stage and make it look like you are speaking in front of a big audience. Another thing you can do is use social proof. Now social proof is also very powerful, of course depending on how you use it. You don't want to use it just like everybody else, otherwise people get sick of it. They, they get to where, you know, oh, everybody's got you know, testimonials and things like that. And some people actually get better sales without social proof. But one thing I think is powerful for earning trust and earning a good reputation as an expert is showing your income report. Like uh, John Lee Dumas does at Entrepreneur on Fire and Pat Flynn does at Smart Passive Income. They do well on their sites and they leverage that to get even more customers and grow their audience even larger by showing them, hey, this is what I've done, here's a breakdown in a blog post of every cent I've made, the expenses I used on advertising and things like that, and, I, and they also post it on the top corner of their website, so you can see it and see, okay, this guy must be really smart, he makes 400 grand a month on online. So it's very powerful if you can do that. Now, if you don't have that kind of income yet, you know, you don't want to do that. You don't want to fake it or, or lie to your audience, but you, maybe you're getting a lot of traffic or maybe you're getting a lot of leads or something like that. You can use that as leverage to um, post as your report. And another thing, have an assistant take calls or emails. Now, if you're more of like a consultant or something like that and you take a lot of phone calls, then this will work better for you 
as opposed to some other people, but you can just have a um, person, I actually learned this from another internet marketer, but you can have a sibling, a spouse, a, a friend, any other relative or person you know take calls for you and you know just give them a quick little piece of paper with a script on it and then say okay we'll do this this and this and we'll schedule you an appointment whether they're actually even an employee or not you can do this and it sounds more credible that oh he's got an assistant he must be busy and he must be having a lot of other clients you must be very uh, smart or have a lot of expertise in this field and must be doing really well so then they trust you a little bit more every little bit goes a long way if you combine multiple strategies like this it can really boost your um, authority in your niche and another thing is how does your blog or website look okay you don't want it to look like a rookie put it together you don't want to look like some high school kid put it together and didn't know what he was doing you want it to look professional you want it to look like a top site so if you're say a business site you might look at entrepreneur.com as you can see I have a picture of entrepreneur.com what it looks like it's very professional looking this is what a lot of sites look like they're clean they don't have too much clutter and they have plenty of articles and, and advertisements things like that social media icons to help you and better navigation okay you can look at business insider Forbes as some other examples anyway model after those and last but not least collaborate with other big shots in the industry I use this as an example I know you may not know who these people are you might have heard of Eminem he's one of the more famous rappers in the world but um, he helped a guy named Royce the 59 get on the map he's uh, friends with this guy and he helped him by collaborating with him on a lot of songs and a lot of artists and music um, bands and things like that do this to get their first um, their first credibility in the industry of whatever type of music they're doing so you know you'll see songs you know by Eminem featuring Royce to 59 or featuring someone else or you'll see you know if you like country uh, Tim McGraw featuring somebody else or if you like Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift featuring somebody else. Just getting featured in, in a business product, getting someone's name on the product, showing them, hey, I have this great product, I'd love to collaborate with you and just have you use your name on it. Would you look it over and get back to me about it and we can talk uh, money or percentage of sales or royalty that you'll give them in exchange for having their name on it. And that way you can leverage an entire new audience of people that you wouldn't have had um, access to in the first place. All right, so that's about it for this video. Um, you can check out the entire blog post back at selfmadesuccess.com, and I just wanted to show you kind of a few tips on creating that, creating that um, expert status or that celebrity status or authority figure status in your industry because a lot it'll preframe people to see you in a different way and instantly be more likely to buy from you or to do business with you in some way trust is the main thing you need with your customers and your clients and your potential customers and clients but a lot of people focus so much on trying to sell they don't even think about these types of things when really you don't have to be a good salesman if you're good at preframing the minds of your audience all right so if you like the video please like it subscribe I'll have more great videos coming out soon for you and uh, don't forget to visit us at selfmadesuccess.com like I said I have this full blog post there for you and some other ones that cover even more strategies on this topic of branding and don't forget to uh, leave a comment if you want to add some more strategies or let us know what you thought about the video and I'll see you in the next video and I hope you have a great day